two sides with very contrasting recent records going into this encounter. Ulster's confidence sky high after eight wins in a row in all competitions. Mark Anscombe welcoming Irish internationals Andrew Trimble and Chris Henry back after their Six Nations exertions. A significant milestone for prop Tom Court as he marked his 150th appearance for the Ulster men. Blues needed a change in fortune, having equaled their worst ever run of five consecutive defeats in the Rabo Direct Pro 12. Caretaker coaches Dale McIntosh and Paul John made seven changes from the team beaten by Ospreys last time, and significantly, Captain Matthew Rees returned to the bench for the first time since undergoing treatment for cancer. But while the sight of Rees on the bench will have put big smiles on the faces of the home supporters, those smiles were wiped out as early as the third minute when Ulster attacked. Darren Cave cutting through the Blues defence like an express train that wasn't going to stop. A brilliant piece of opportunism from the Irish international and the perfect start to the game for the visitors. Not totally perfect as Paddy Jackson missed the conversion but a 5-0 lead to Ulster very early on. Blues got a foothold in the game in the 13th minute when Ulster were penalised for an earlier offence of not rolling away. And Gareth Davies slotted the penalty over to bring Cardiff back to within two points of the Ulster men. And Davies landed his second penalty in the 26th minute to nudge the Blues into a 6-5 lead, keeping the home faithful young and old happy. Blues hoping to improve on their record of just one win in their last nine games against Irish opposition. And on the half hour, Dan Tui, back after a broken arm, collected a yellow card from referee Marius Mitrea for handling the ball on the ground. Ten minutes in the bin for Tui, and Davies put the penalty over to improve Blues' lead to 9-5. And in the 33rd minute, Davies landed his fourth penalty of the evening to make it 12-5 for the home side. This was a much improved showing from the Blues, and three minutes later they went into overdrive. Alex Cuthbert with the initial break, before finding number eight Robin Copeland, who blasted his way past the Ulster defenders and managed to get over the line for a superb score. A lovely reverse pass from Cuthbert for Copeland's fourth try of the season, and one of his best, no doubt. Davies converted for 19-5. And there was still time before the break for Davies to add a further penalty for a 22 points to 5 lead for Blues as the half-time whistle blew. After a good start, Ulster had no answer to the Cardiff onslaught. Three minutes after the break, Jackson kicked a penalty to bring it back to 22-8. And the Irish international added another in the 47th minute to make it 22-11 with plenty of time for Mark Anscombe's side to get back into it. Ulster were edging their way back into the game little by little, and when Luke Marshall failed to ground the ball, play was called back for an earlier offside, Jackson firing over for 22-14 in the 57th minute. Then a moment all rugby fans will be thrilled to see. Blues captain Matthew Rees returning to the field of play, having recovered following treatment for cancer. Moments later, Davies scored a 65th minute penalty to put Blues 25 14 ahead. But almost immediately, Jackson put one over at the far end for 25 17 with 13 minutes remaining. On 72 minutes, Jackson kicked his fifth penalty of the game to bring Ulster right back into it at 25-20 and ensure a jittery last few minutes for the home side. Particularly when he fired another over to bring it back to 25-23. However, in the 79th minute, after an Ulster break from inside their own 22 broke down, Blues were awarded a penalty and the reliable Davies was on target for the insurance score, 28-23. 
Blues halt the five-match losing sequence, while Ulster ends their eight-game winning run. They do secure a losing bonus, but not ideal with the Heineken Cup game against Saracens to come. A sweet way for Matthew Rees to return to competitive action for the Blues as well. Final score at the Arms Park. Cardiff Blues 28, Ulster 23.